Wait. There we go. Can be empowered with machine learning models that are capable of analyzing sales data. Okay. Choose machine learning. So we got to connect a linear polynomial regression building. Well, I'll just leave it like that for the time being. Okay. So in that case, we'll want to get the cat's order. That way I can at least sort out the ones that only want the basic resources to a separate, uh, separate store and then work from there. Unfortunately, I'm still poor. So we're in kind of a... We're kind of in a junky situation for, uh... Affording research. Eh, it's going it's going well enough. Especially because we're not trying to research something that's 150. Okay, let's go cat sorter. Ooh. Yeah. I'll set that up and start learning how to make boxes. This is already incredibly obnoxious music. Box maker. Okay, so box maker just requires lumber, nothing more. All right. Let's make five of those. Let's see, are we still getting the metal? We are. We're just probably selling it. I don't know how many box makers we're going to need, but I figure if we just have kind of a little production line here, at some point I will scale this up uh, and move it back. But I figure right now it's just more important to have a setup than to have a proper setup. Okay, so let's make uh, let's make two more box makers. Actually, I'm going to tear that up. Uh, wait, no, that was fine? No, it's not fine. So if I do that... I guess if I'm in the way, it doesn't work so much. There we go. I'm so glad none of this requires power. That would be annoying. Okay, so we got boxes now. I... Is it only... Hmm. It won't let me choose the good. Which means we need cloth sharpeners, we don't need boxes. I guess I'm just going to tear them up. We'll just have a separate cat store down here, but with boxes. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm pretty sure cat sharpener just requires metal, so it shouldn't be too bad. So it looks like we're going to have to scale up the amount of metal that we have and can use, but eh, that's for later. I'm curious how deep... Oh, gosh. I was going to say, I'm curious how deep they're planning on going with this game, and the answer is considerably deep. Which is actually pretty good. I don't know. I, I like my Factorio games to be, you know, worth 
sinking a good couple dozen hours into. Every cat wants something different. Different smart stories for every kind of cat. Yeah, I think the main thing is I've I've just got to get that splitter, otherwise it doesn't matter. I'm like, maybe I could have a manipulator to, like, pull cats off. But as far as I can tell... <laughs> as far as I can tell, it's not smart. It just grabs. Which doesn't really help that much. It more or less just means more cats can potentially go into a store. Which I guess wouldn't be the worst idea ever. It seems like you're going to need the underground belts. Oh, absolutely. I'm just hoping that I can get the, uh, the cat splitter first. Yeah, Turing Tree. Conveys game of life. A statue commemorating the irresistible awesomeness of all cats in the universe. Does not do anything except for showing how awesome cats are. That's adorable. I'll have to look at... I'll have to look at these. Uh, I guess while we're here, let's make another smart cat store. Did I just annihilate those cats from existence? Shh. I sent them home. Where is home, I don't know, but I sent them there. Boy, I had so much money earlier. But then again, I also didn't have anything picked out for research, so go figure. Ah, uh, this is... <laughs> it's a bit painful because I can't do anything about it. I guess truly, yeah, I could have just made the weird triple split line. Watch me go through all this effort and it turns out that this cat sorter... No, it absolutely does based on cat types. I was going to say, it's like... Watch it just split the cats with no no intellect, just just cat splitting. Okay, I guess I'm preemptively going to pick all this up. Okay, and get a at least one cat sorter. I I have no knowledge or understanding on what any of these cats want. Add cats and goods to set prices. Um Worker cat, bag cat and regular cat. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's... These are... Okay. What the... How'd these end up there? I... This is a strange process. Okay, well, we're done with that. Let's, uh... Let's make the tunnel real quick. That should be a very quick research. Okay, so what do they want? They want boxes. They want boxes, they want cotton packs, metal, and wood. Well, we've got a number of those.
Okay. And then I'm going to very quickly tear this one up so that it can have a new data model on what it actually requires. It honestly looks like the, uh, these worker cats. Oops. They might only want yarn and box. I, I guess that, that's fine, actually. Okay, is that all, all that metal mine? Yeah, it is. So what is the... I guess in that case, we can tear this up. Because we're going to need boxes and we're going to need claw sharpeners. So in that case... I guess the only way we're going to find out if this works is by doing that. Um, oh, so, oh, what? so good I that alone that alone is huge okay so in that case you gotta get this caught Obviously, there's a cotton patch there, but there's also a cotton patch right here. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna slap a cotton collector down there. What else do you need? Metal. Well, we got plenty of metal. Okay. Wait, did you just do underground logistics? Yes! I... Which is amazing. Like... I don't think... That there is a single other factory management game... In this... In this style that does underground conveyors. I'm pretty sure none of them have done that. Z-axis is incredibly hard to do. And no one does. Okay, let's get another mine. I don't know what a metal source is. But yeah, hide the spaghetti underground. Like... Uh, let's see. Dyson Sphere Program does above-ground stuff. 
and so or above ground. Like you can do Z axis up, but you can't do underground. And I really appreciate this, and I I would love to see them go further with this idea. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get rid of one of these metal sources. Okay, so now we've got a smart cat store, should be fully stocked. You are going to need metal bits. Okay, so we're done with that. So let's get the claw sharpener maker. And then I think we'll stop. As much as I'm enjoying this, it is also very early access and it's the kind of game that I might wanna either come back to later or maybe even play more of now, I have no idea. Can you get a tunnel going in the underlayer? I don't think so. Whoops. I straight up yoinked a cat from above. Yeah. No. But what I can do is I can, I can steal cats from certain layers, which is kind of amusing. Okay, so we have bag cats. Bag cats only seem to want boxes. Worker cats want the other stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna rip up that tunnel. Move that there. Switch down a layer. This honestly reminds me of... What's the Zactron? Infinifactory. Like I'm getting I'm getting a very strong Zactronics Infinifactory vibe from this game. That it's it really is not nearly as much about uh It's not nearly as much about like teching up and well, it is about teching up and research or resource distribution, but like Factorio Factorio Satisfactory and Dyson Sphere Program are about huge amounts of volume. This is more about smart sorting and stuff, which I actually am really digging this. But yeah, just having that underground logistics layer is super nice. I don't know. I, I'm I'm going to be very pleased with that. Uh, just just because. Okay. Just have to wait for the claw sharpener maker. Unfortunately, big issue. We need some other researchers. We'll get this and then we'll start working on the science lab. Probably should have gone the sci science lab first, but it's okay. But yeah, I love I love the cute little graphics. It's very simple. It's it's very much one of those that like even at this level zoomed out, everything is super obviously what it is. There's still kind of a visual mess here, but it doesn't feel like, oh god, what am I even looking at? You know, yarn balls, cats, logs, boxes, metal, uh, cotton packs. It, it's all very clear and concise and visually easy to read. Next order of business truly would be hooking up the smart cat stores to proper machine learning setups. This reminds me of Well True Learn. It's made by the same people, so as it should. Oh, let's see. I wonder if there's a way to queue things up. The answer is no. So really the end uh really I guess next up we've gotta start. Well, yeah, we just gotta get another science lab. I'm not seeing a whole lot of other needs go by, which is odd. Cause there's the apple collector. Cat houses, pillows, and rope. But nobody's demanded it yet. So maybe we've got to do something to unlock them. Or maybe there's just like, my second cat gate will just start bringing higher tier cats. Who knows? The other thing I would say 
is that we might we might actually want to get a splitter on this. I don't know where these phantom resources are coming from necessarily. The reason why we might want a phantom splitter on this is specifically so I can have a secondary smart cat store. Oh, we might even want to do an underground main bus of a sort. And we can interweave it with above ground switchover points. I'm just seeing there's tons of these cats and so much less of all the other ones. So let's start getting that science lab down. And Cat Claw Maker. Sharpener Maker. Pretty sure this is just... No. This is a... Uh, this is an order of magnitude more. Okay, I think I'm going to err on the side of extreme laziness for now. Because it seems like I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do some stuff to actually scale past this. I don't feel like doing that today. I'm getting tired. I'm getting hungry. Let's see, do you wanna... Well, we can do a second Lumberjack setup here. It doesn't look like the trees are very slowly growing. So why don't we, why don't we just be lazy? Boy, that really is not worth it. One of those researches is fish making, which is concerning. I'm assuming you just stick that on the uh, the edge of the water and just say, Go! And it'll just start glomming up a bunch of fish for you. Okay. Oh, hey, we're already done. That was quick. Let's see, is this Factorio for people that don't hate themselves? Man, that's a loaded question, but yes, actually. At least near as far as I can tell. Hire Researcher. Okay, Victoria, Italy. University of Cambridge. ML Researcher. Produces articles. Looks like they all produce potentially the same type. I'm not entirely clear on that one. Uh, let's do linear regression. Because it looks like all I have to do is connect to them via cable. So hopefully I'll just put the linear regression here and that's enough. Okay. So that's a decent chunk of trees. Let's just get tons of conveyors down. There we go. I guess... Uh, I don't know. We might have to grab lumber from elsewhere. Hey! Thank you, Wells Knight, for the raid, and welcome on in, everybody! We are playing Factorio, but with cats. Uh, it's called... Uh, is it just called Learning Factory? I'm pretty sure it's just called Learning Factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, it's made by the people that made Well True Learn, which is a really cute game about machine learning, also with cats. Uh, I get the feeling the developers have a bit of an obsession. And so I'm currently just slapping things around. Unfortunately, it's in early access, so I'm starting to run out of... Well, I'm not running out of content on this one, but... I'm still kind of... Um, I guess I'd say I'm at the midway point on the research tree. But there's clearly a lot more that I can possibly do. Data storage. Yeah. I'm just gonna... I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. I'm just doing... So let's get that down, and let's get another lumber mill, at the very least. So yeah, what were you guys up to today? Anything fancy? Okay, this is a breakthrough, comrade engineer. You've unlocked linear regression, your first machine learning model. They can predict optimal prices based on data from all connected stores and data storages. Select it from your smart stores menu and let it take control over sales. Just like we took over your personal life. Ouch. Okay, machine learning price. Okay, that should be functional. Can I do the same thing over here? No, I've got to get a uh, second one of these. I don't think it's going to change the prices too much. Holy shit, am I out of money? I'm out of money already. Wow. Well. Do we look into getting another cat gate? Or do we start working... Eh, I'm going to keep doing polynomial regression, at least for the time being. Okay. Another linear regression. I... Boy, howdy. Okay, I just wanna... What is this? What is going on? Cats, minimum weight, heat map, initial data, cripes. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off and just avoid for a bit. Demand for a new type of item detected. Fish. That time in, then. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get a splitter there. And we're going to get another smart cat store. There's the wood. That took it some time. So they'll get us a couple of cat claw sharpeners. Okay, so you're playing Pokemon Radical Red. It's fire red with all the mechanics in most Pokemon up to Gen 8. Oh, that's really cool, actually. I have, it, I have yet to do a Nuzlocke. I really should. Okay, so I'm going to set an underground store up there. Why not? Okay, we have a fir tree in the way. Let's pop down layers, move these cats around. Okay, now I'm pretty sure they're going to be consistently disappointed as I have absolutely nothing for sale. Let's, uh, let's grab a couple of optic cables, a couple more conveyor belts, grab some more iron. Yeah, they're tragically disappointed. Okay, right. I still have a vein. Oh. Initial training of an ML model is complete. Huh. Alright. We were playing randomized and you got Muse or Starter, so that was lucky. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'd end up with a Bidoof. And I'd probably try and roll it anyway, just because. I, I should do a Nuzlocke someday. 
The problem is I'm a coward. And I have no idea how it would turn out. I also just get really, really bad stat distributions on my Pokemon, which is always just a little bit of a letdown. Okay, how much how much wood am I sitting on? Decent chunk. Okay. So what do you need? They need cat claw sharpeners, yarn. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's go over here. Let's go loop some of my wood around. Oh, they're actually burning through my wood supply a little faster than I thought I was going to. Okay. Look at that. Cut that over. It looks like the trees are growing, so we're not that locked in. Well, let's go over here first. This area has tremendously more trees. Uh, let's see. Plunk that there. Plunk that there. Because clearly I'm going to need need some trees to get this going. Yeah, Bidoof is actually quite strong. It does evolve into water normal. That is true. I just... Bidoof has always been a joke Pokemon for me. Even if it's decent. Like, Magikarp would suck, but if you could manage to make it work long enough to get, like, one or two other ones, and get Magikarp up to level 20, uh, so you get a Gyarados, Gyarados would not be bad. Yeah, Moody Bidoof is Destroyer of Worlds. I... Clearly, I gotta put some more time and effort into Pokemon. I I think I'm just... I always play their latest game. Uh, you know, Sword, Sword and Shield or Sun and Moon and whatnot. I always feel slightly betrayed. Or it's like... It could be that much better. With so much less work? Eh, no, it'd still take work. Uh... But no, it feels like it, it wouldn't take that much effort on uh, Nin Nintendo's Game Freak's part to make, like, a truly special Pokemon. I did something. Oh. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. So you still need yarn. Yarn. Okay, so we need to tunnel. We need a splitter. We still need more belts. Magikarp learns tackle at 15 these days, so you don't even need to wait till 20 for it to evolve. True, but like, have you ever tried fighting anything with a Magikarp that act that knows tackle? It's embarrassing. <laughs> right, while we're here, let's pick up these these Garbo belts that nobody needs. Uh, let's see. Grab that, and give it a belt. Okay. So the biggest is issue here... ...is we don't have a whole lot of cat claw scratchers... ...or boxes going into the system. Boxes are doable. Cat claw scratchers might be a little tougher. Or sharpeners. I don't know. Let's just make a bunch of box makers. And then I really should stop. Just because. Anyway, your butt's been in this chair for five and a half hours. Gonna head out. Have some food, etc. Have a great rest. Rest of your stream. Yeah! I will admit, I think I'm coming close to the end of my section of the stream, but I might be able to get Shell to play some lemon cake. 
if she's still up for it. She made a shrugging noise, so I'm going to take that as a yes. Because, yeah, I've been... I my, my butt's in this been in this chair for six and a half hours, so it's getting a little tired. I've been doing ring fit a lot lately, which means my butt is a lot more sensitive to sitting. All right, this should really stack up the amount of boxes I'm working with. Yeah, have a good night, Wells. Okay, good. My cats are actually flowing. They need fish, but that's down this way. That's going to take a while. It actually doesn't require a whole lot of advanced resources. It mostly just requires a better setup to actually afford it. This is cool. I like this game a lot. It's got a lot of promise to it. I love the visuals. I don't like the music. The music definitely needs to be uh, amped up a little bit or just like a little bit more varied or something. But you know what? I can mute the music and switch to my own thing and not even care at all. Uh, but I really appreciate having all these resources. And yeah, you make the advanced resources, but it's not to make the next structure. It's just to make the, the cats happier. So you make more money, you get more science, rinse, repeat. And I'm sure there's going to be way more stuff later down the line. But I see so much potential here for a... It, it really does feel kind of like a really basic... Um, like a, a really basic Factorio, but not in a way that feels bad. It feels simpler, even if it's still uh, still kind of messy and complicated. I, I guess just comparatively, throwing a person into actual Factorio is kind of hell. And I can see why a lot of people would have trouble, you know, getting into those games. Whereas conversely, this... I think the tutorialization needs maybe amping up a little bit just because there are a couple points where another person might be stuck. Uh, but that if you wanted to teach somebody Factorio, this would actually not be a bad spot, not be a, a bad way to do it. And, I mean, it's kind of a low-hanging fruit, but involving cats in any way, shape, or form is like an objective system. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a very quick way to get people interested. The machine learning stuff is way above my head, though. I have no idea what I'm doing on that, that front, and honestly, that's okay. I guess the next order of business would be getting another portal and expanding the amount of cats that I'm serving. But eh, machine learning for the new store? I, okay, I gotta check this. I don't think that machine learning matters. Because I think it's supposed to just change the prices. But what we're finding is the machine learning is just like, everything is cheap. So we'd probably want to do machine learning later or something. I, I don't know. I There are certain parts of this um, that would actually be helpful if I looked at a wiki. Well, I mean, there is the wiki, but like... Oh. 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 Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's not the most useful, but if you click read, it straight up takes you to, like, the Wikipedia page for linear regression. If I do watch, they have a, uh, a video to somebody's channel talking about linear regression. That's neat. Way above my head. And if I do learn? Yeah, Coursera. <laughs> I do really appreciate that. This... This would be a game that I would give to a kid. Like, not a young, young kid. But I, I could feasibly see most kids picking this up and understanding as kind of an introduction to uh, machine learning. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how smart kids are these days. I'm assuming still pretty smart. It's above my brain grade, but I think that's mainly just because I am currently not particularly willing to learn. Uh, that <laughs> I, I guess it's more of a, uh, well, it would be really cool to learn machine learning. It's information that would not really help me in my day-to-day -day life unless I'm playing other games like this, which is a little tough, but 
if I wanted to sit down and, like, get really deep on something, this would be it. This would be the kind of game that if I gave it to my brother, who does machine learning, he would tell me, no, I don't want to play this, I already do this for a living. <laughs> uh, oh man, look at that cotton field, it got big. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it here. I like this game a lot, it's really cool. I'd like to maybe play more, but that seems like the kind of thing that we want to do uh, when this entire thing is not filled with question marks, but everything, you know, new structures and stuff. 14 year old kid yeah i i could see like a, a high schooler having the uh the brain space to sit down and learn this in a patient way and maybe if i wasn't recording this i absolutely could too i just i some amount to me sits in questions like yeah but do i need to learn this today the answer is probably not not unless i really want to do machine learning uh stuff for a series But, like, it's pretty easy to pick up. But maybe that's also me being biased as a big Factorio fan. Okay. Well, with all that said, I'm so I'm so happy they added this. It's the cutest little sucker. But we are going to save as Wonderbo Head Hurt. Cool. Because it does actually have quite the headache. And I'm going to go take a break.